Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna go over our FabFitFun box. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something. Now these are the boxes that you pay $50. They come in once a month. They pick out all these random kind of products that they think you might like, and it's more of that kind of surprise. You know, you go for that urge of, ooh, look, I can get something online, and you forget that you buy it, and then it comes in the mail, and it, it's that twice pleasure kind of moment. Like, we learned about that in marketing. Like, that's why online shopping is such a big deal. So, anyway, I'm going to be saying, is it worth the hype? Should you really spend the $50, or should you just go and buy products yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is just my opinion make sure you like and subscribe for more and stick to the end of the video to see my opinion so let's go <laughs> now you're calling me on the okay, that works i think that these videos get noticed easier because like i'm just gonna look up what's mouth and rebecca doing it is fat fit fun ah okay i found it on the top okay so yeah this is fat fit fun i will tell you i've already used one thing and it is the pillow that it came with it said that it was going to come with a satin pillow, which, you know, obviously is good for your hair, good for acne, all that kind of stuff. It's so weird. I'm not going to show it because I finally made my bed. Just got a new bedspread. I will show you guys. Looks so pretty. But you see that, like, little... Yeah, anyway, I'll just explain it. It's a satin pillow, yes, but, like, on the outsides, they're not together. Like, you know, you usually put a pillow and it's like you put it in one side and just, like, shake, 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 shake. And then, whatever. Okay, there's only one out. This time there's like two outs, like it's just like it's sitting in the middle. That freaks me out. Whenever I've been sleeping on it, it's been like moving up to where like the satin part isn't even on my skin. So like, no, I don't think it's good. I had another one that I got from TJ Maxx and I prefer that one. I will be getting another one soon. It does the job, I think, but is it worth it? No. So let's get into this box. First, let me just show you. It comes in a huge box, surprisingly. You know, they really don't lie. This is the size to my head. <laughs> so, you really don't want a decent size. So then we open it up. Whenever you open it, it looks like this. It says FabFitFun, cool colors, stuff like that. So the first thing that they give you is a hydrating, moisturizing reset. It's hydropeptide. Um, you know, the thing is, I break out so easily that it kind of makes me nervous to try stuff like this. Just because, like, is it really good? Has Skin by Hiram talked about it? Things like that. Comment below if you know what this is. I have no idea. Next, it comes with Mineral Face Sunscreen Matte Finish Kula. Once again, like, I'm not saying these products are bad, but I'm saying that, like, if you're sensitive skin, you understand the struggle of, like, wanting to do what's trendy, wanting to, like, buy these kind of boxes and stuff like that. And, like, I genuinely want to use them all, but it does make me nervous. Really, I need your guys' help. <laughs> Um, but then it comes with a hand cream, coconut flavored, not fla <laughs> not flavored, scented. That'd be awkward. Um, coconut, and it is sponge gel. I, it's hand cream, you know, I really don't know if you can go wrong with hand cream. Then it comes with a Winky Lux Unibrow. That's what it's called, a universal brow pencil. I really assume that it's not for an actual... To create a unibrow. Anyway, just a brow pencil. I think that most brow pencils are good. I personally like the Benefit um, brand, but I have a I have a the one that I got from Ipsy right now that I'm using. So that's that. Also, there's one on Glossier. I like a liquid, but not really. I really like that one too. I do that whenever I don't feel like actually doing anything in the morning. Um, but I'll just, obviously, you know, I need eyebrows so I don't look like I'm bald. But whenever I really want to try, I use the actual like dip. Um, and it comes with like a little wand and you like dip it in. That's kind of how um, the benefit one is. But I'm sure this one's fine too. So then it comes with a beauty blender. Can never go wrong with that. There's some coupons. That bit fun. Just to make sure that we get it again. <laughs> and then last but not least, it comes with this cute little beach bag. I will say this is probably one of my favorite purchases in this thing. It is a drap... A Drapper James. If I said that wrong, please um, don't judge, but let me know. But yes, that's what it comes with. If you can't just like try a bunch of random stuff and it's like, I don't know, you break out super easily. Like I have to have super sensitive products. And so it kind of makes me nervous to try stuff like that. Also like the hand cream, like really all it was was three, four products, a pillowcase and a bag. I'm sure I could actually like pick out stuff that I like and spend the amount of money versus it just being, you know, 
randomly selected. I know that's like a super big trend. It's like the random picking and like it coming to your doorstep and like trust me on the same way. Like with this whole bedspread. I bought a bedspread off of Amazon like three days ago and it finally came in. And don't get me wrong, it was okay, but like it, it was kind of smaller than what I thought and the texture was really bad. But like also why would you buy a bedspread online? Like it was very easy to just go to Home Goods like I did. I ended up going to Home Goods and looking for a pillow to make this like bedspread look better than what it was. Um, I ended up finding a whole new bedspread and I just sent back the thing from Amazon today. So I think that urge of like buying stuff online and getting it in the mail is sometimes even better than the actual purchase itself. Like it's definitely a big deal right now. But as far as FabFitFun, I would say stick to purchasing on Amazon if you want to do stuff online or just going somewhere and picking out what you want because it's truly not worth it besides the surprise factor. But if you're not excited, then is it a good surprise? Exactly. So, but anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed my video. That's my opinion on FabFitFun. Make sure you like and subscribe for more. Comment below if you know these products. If you do and you think they're good, let me know. I obviously have them right here, so I'm going to have to do something with them. So comment below. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Thanks for joining in. Mother Rebecca here. Bye.